Good Monday morning. Happy bank holiday to you all. Uh, I hope you all enjoy your day off, all those people that have one, and all those people like myself and Michelle who are working. <sighs> Never mind. So, good morning. Morning. How did you sleep? Badly. Again. I think it was the 11 hours I got yesterday. What just dinged? Something just dinged. Possibly my phone. Oh well, I'm gonna drink my coffee, watch a bit of news. Um, on the upside, I'm not scraping the car this morning, which is good news for all that gardening I did yesterday. Well, all that little bit of gardening we did yesterday. Okay, moving on. Okay, the news today is all about the invention of the pin number for banks. It always makes me cringe when people say PIN number because PIN is personal identification number so you're essentially saying personal identification number number. Salute the geek. <laughs> I'll pay for that in a minute. Well, okay, the news today is all about the PIN thing that you put in and invented 50 years ago, 1965-66. It must be a really slow use there. Anyway, I've been suitably chastised, now I shall uh, get ready and go to work. Time to go, come on, chop chop. Busy busy work work. Chop chop, busy busy work work, bang bang. Speak to you shortly. They'll take you all day, we know. And then you explain them to me, because I've obviously not been on the train, of course. Really, you correct him about one thing and suddenly he's a comedian. Well, what's wrong with saying pin number? Because that's what everybody says. I know, but it's just cringing, do you say? Yeah, yeah, and then, and then, and then number. Right, see you later, have a good day. Just dropped my shell off there and I think I turned the camera off just a little bit too soon. But she's just got out of the car and fell over, almost. She didn't completely fall over, but she fell back into the car, so that would have been something I could have got me home back with. Anyway, I'm going to head off to work. Traffic's extremely large, as you'd expect on a bank holiday Monday morning. nothing about it all. So I don't think I'll be that late at work today, so an extra half an hour's grief at work. Okay, speak to you shortly. Oops, I nearly forgot to do my usual, to let you know I'm at my work now. The place is absolutely packed. So much for a, a bank holiday. But I assume it's my vast majority of office staff because the office staff don't actually get bank holidays off. Uh, well, sorry, I'll rephrase that. We do get bank holidays off. But it's the floating days, they can take them when they want. So, whoop, just drove into a bush. Never mind. Anyway, that's me at my work. I'll speak to you after the working day is done. Hey, that's it. Working day is over with. I'm on my way home. Oh, I'm not. I'm on the way to pick Michelle up. Then we're on our way home. Now, living close to the sea is brilliant. Uh, apart from one thing that annoys you, if you ever go anywhere, buy some food and walk out onto the seafront, the seagulls nick you. Uh, they attack you as well and take it off you. So you really got to guard your food. But that's bad enough. But when they've eaten it, what they'll do is they fly over your car and do that to you. And that's kind of not going to wash off. See, it's going to take, it's going to take Sam 
blasting to get that off. So, uh, to the bloody seagulls. Anyway, let's go and get Michelle. Let's get speech to you that car park. Let's see what Michelle's got to say for herself. Say how we do when it's like it's been raining here. Oh, she's not there. Nope, she's not there. What it'll be, she'll have a go at me for breaking the speed limit. Forgetting that it's a bank holiday and there's no traffic. Oh well, let's see where she, when she comes out. And here she is. Excuse me. Have you seen a seagull with a smug look on its face? No. Look at that. Yeah, we're finished. Oh, it's been a long day. Home. Home. How's your day been? Okay, I've been doing a little bit more uh, potting up. Got some cogets in and some onions. Getting ready. I need to do is get some digging done out there and actually prepare a plot. So I'm going to do that very slowly because, yeah. Why not? And I've also sorted out the fruit garden this morning, so I'll show you the fruit garden this morning, this evening. So, what I've actually done is a bit of weeding and a bit of top dressing on my apple trees. My raspberries, my blueberries, and a blackberry. You can see there's little, little blueberries already appearing. Yeah, it's looking okay. Let's see if I get any more. I've still got. Oh, I made rhubarb. Rhubarb's doing better than I thought. I thought I'd killed it. Uh, I've still actually got all oh, last year's crop. How many raspberries I got? I shall show them to you. It'll give me two seconds. I'll just get in the house. Bottom the hatches because I'm freezing. Uh, last year's crop of fruit. That is what we got off my raspberry bushes. Which I was quite pleased with. But as you can see I froze them so I can get enough to make something with them. A bit of jam or a pie. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Seven o'clock. Now I'll wash up and uh, make me tea. I'll get some tea down there. Let's go for a little walk. Then we'll take you out and show you a little bit around the area. We'll walk at the village and okay, so we get a little bit of chill, a bit of exercise, a little bit of a walk. Okay, as you can see, this is the main road. It's actually the actual main road going into town. And we're looking there. That's the main street of our village. We've got not much. <laughs> We've got a post box. We've got a, a works. And that's kind of it. Okay, that's us at the other side of the village. You can see back. We're actually now leaving the village, going into the national speed limit zone. That's nice in the village. Pardon? Yeah, going by. See how long this lasts for. I'm keeping up. I'm just walking. And here we are. This is what we. This is the, the view of the countryside. So 
us back of a evening stroll. Just the, just as the sun's going down. So, oh, that's blinding. Last bit of sun's just blinded me. Yeah, so I think in now, shower and get ready for work tomorrow. Working day starts. Let me just turn that tap off as well. Before I cause damp in the house. Yeah, so go and get ready for work tomorrow. Speak to you shortly. Okay, guys, I think that's uh, time to call it for tonight, for Monday night. So, yeah, done a bit of gardening, gone for a bit of a walk, which is good. Ooh, start, start to have a little bit more healthy regime. And so, what we'll say now is a good night from me. And a good night from him. Good night. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. The